हेलो स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स लेट सॉल्व मोर क्वेश्चंस ऑफ लोकल मिनिमा एंड लोकल मैक्सिमा क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द पॉइंट ऑफ लोकल मैक्सिमा और लोकल मिनिमा इफ एनी ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू साइन टू द पावर फोर एक्स प्लस कॉन्स टू द पावर फोर एक्स वेयर एक्स बिलोंग्स टू जीरो टू फाइव बाई टू ऑल्सो फाइंड द लोकल मैक्सिमम एंड लोकल मिनिमम वैल्यूज सो दिस द फंक्शन स्टूडेंट एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू साइन टू द पावर फोर एक्स प्लस कॉन्स टू द पावर फोर एक्स आई है सपोज दिस इक्वेशन वन एंड एक्स बिलोंग्स टू जीरो टू फाइव बाई टू सो नाउ लेट इज फाइंड आउट इट्स फर्स्ट और डेरिवेटिव एफ डैस एक्स इक्वल्स टू फोर साइन क्यूब एक्स साइन एक्स डेरिवेटिव कॉज एक्स एक्स टू द पावर एन फार्मूला स्टूडेंट्स सो फोर कॉज क्यूब एक्स एंड कॉज एक्स डेरिवेटिव इज माइनस साइन एक्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टेक कॉमन फोर इज कॉमन कॉज एक्स एंड साइन एक्स कॉमन तो फोर साइन एक्स कॉज एक्स कॉमन वॉट लेफ्ट हेयर साइन स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस कॉज स्क्वायर एक्स फोर साइन एक्स कॉज एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू इन टू टू साइन एक्स कॉज एक्स एंड वी कैन टेक माइनस कॉमन सो दैट्स अ माइनस साइन इट इज हेयर इट विल बिकम कॉज स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस साइन स्क्वायर एक्स सो कॉज स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस साइन स्क्वायर एक्स कॉज टू एक्स टू साइन एक्स कॉज एक्स साइन टू एक्स एंड माइनस टू विल रिमेन एज इट इज Now, students, this is the formula of two sine x cos x sine two uh, sine two x, but at the place of x, two x is written. So this is the formula of sine two two x. Okay, so we can write this as minus sine four x. So this is the first order derivative minus sine four x. Okay. so we are going to find out here point of local maxima and local minima by the help of second order derivative test which i told you yesterday so now we are going to find out its second order derivative so it will be f double dash x equals to minus as it is sin 4x derivative cos 4x And four x derivative four, so f double dash x equals to minus four cos four x. Question number three. Now, students, you know that to find the point of local maxima or local minima, we have to put first order derivative equals to zero. So that's why f dash x equals to zero. So this value we are going to put for f dash x four sine x cos x sine square x minus cos square x. Equal to zero. The so students, it is given to us x belongs to zero to pi by two, means first quadrant. So we know that in first quadrant, if the value lies between zero and pi by two, both are not included, student. So sine x will not be equal to zero, and cos x also will not be equal to zero. That's why we can write four sine x cos x also not equals to zero. But this whole equals to zero, na. So when this part is not equals to zero, then we can say sine square x minus cos square x equal to zero. So that's why I have written here sine square x minus cos square x equal to zero, sine square x equal to cos square x. So it can be written as sine square x upon cos square x equal to one. So tan square x equals to one. So tan x equals to plus minus one. So we will take tan x equals to one first. Tan x equals to ten pi by four. X equals to pi by four. Now tan x equals to minus one. So tan x equals to minus ten pi by four. We know that tan is negative in second quadrant. So for second quadrant we can write minus ten pi by four is 
10 pi minus 5 by 4. Okay, because we know that 10 180 minus theta equals to minus 10 theta. So it will be 10 3 pi by 4 comparing x equal to 3 pi by 4. A student 3 pi by 4 not belongs to 0 to pi by 2. Or here it is, it is given to us x must belongs to 0 to pi by 2. So that's why 3, 3 pi by 4 we will not take. So there is only one value x equals to pi by 4. So we have to put this value okay, in second order derivative to check for local maxima or local minima. So this is second order derivative. So putting value of x in equation number 3. So f double dash x equals to minus 4 cos 4 into pi by 4 minus 4 cos 4 or at the place of x we have to put pi by 4 so 4 4 cancel cos pi value minus 1 so minus 4 into minus 1 plus 4 and 4 is greater than 0 it means f double dash x value at pi by 4 is greater than 0 therefore x equals to pi by 4 is the point of local minima. Okay students. So yesterday I told you if if the value of second order derivative is greater than 0 then the point is called point of local minima. Correct. So x equal to pi by 4 is the point of local minima. Now student we have to find out local minimum value. So we are going to put x equal to pi by 4 in the quotient to get its local minimum value. So putting x equal to pi by 4 in equation 1. So at the place of x we have to put pi by 4. f pi by 4 equal to sin pi by 4 to the power whole 4 cos to the power whole 4 pi by 4 so sin pi by 4 value 1 upon root 2 cos pi by 4 value also 1 upon root 2 so 1 upon root 2 to the power 4 plus 1 upon root 2 to the power 4 so 1 upon root 2 4 times students it will be equals to 1 upon 4 it is also equals to 1 upon 4 2 upon 4 answer is 1 upon 2 so local minimum value of the function this function is 1 upon 2 so this is the second order derivative test so by the help of second order derivative test we can easily find out the point of local maxima and local minima and the local maximum and local minimum value of the function now students let us solve some language problems related to maxima and minima. So first question is first language problem. Find two positive numbers x and y such that their sum is 35 and the product x square y to the power 5 is maximum. The student we have to maximize it. So before solving the language problem student we have to keep two things in our mind first of all we have to check what is given to us so you can see sum of both numbers is given so always remember given part we have to use and the value which we have to find out maxima or minima that value will be differentiated okay here sum is given so we can use sum and product we have to maximize so the, the product is differentiated okay student these two things you have to keep in your mind so let us solve this question the sum of two numbers is given 35 so x plus y equal to 35 
given. So we can find out the value of any one variable x or y. I am going to find the value of x here. x equal to 35 minus y. And this is the product student. So I am going to put the value of x from 1. Okay. So at the place of x we can write 35 minus y whole square and y to the power 5 will remain as it is. Correct. So student you can see here I have used the sum. Okay. And this product is going to be differentiated. Correct. Now same variable is there. So before differentiate student we have to keep in our mind that the variable should be same. Okay. Here also y, y is also here. So we are going to use product rule here. So we are going to differentiate it with respect to y because y is here not x. So dp upon dy. Okay students. Because we are differentiating here with respect to y. That's why p is written as dp upon dy equals to product rule. Second term will remain as it is. Derivative of first term. 35 minus y whole square. Plus 35 minus y whole square will remain as it is. Derivative of second term. d upon dy of y to the power 5. So it's derivative x to the power n formula will be applied. So 2 into 35 minus y into minus 1. Second term as it is and derivative of first 2 into 35 minus y into minus 1. Okay. Because we have to find the derivative of 35 minus y. So its derivative is minus 1 plus first term as it is derivative of second term. So its derivative is 5y to the power 4. And remember student it is not required to write here dy by dx because we are differentiating it with respect to y. Okay. So dp upon dy let us take common y to the power 4 common and 35 y minus y is common. What left here 2y minus also plus 5 and 35 minus y left. So dp upon dy equals to y to the power 4 35 minus y minus 2y as it is. Let us open the bracket. It will become 175 minus 5y. So dp upon dy equals to y to the power 4 35 minus y and 175 minus 7y. Okay, sorry. So this is dp upon dy first order derivative. 7 y to the power 4, 35 minus y and 25 minus y. Because 7 is coming common students. That's why what left here? 25 minus y. So now to find out point of local maxima and local minima, we have to put dp upon dy equals to 0. So this whole equals to 0. So first we can write 7 y to the power 4 equals to 0. Then y equal to 0. Then we have to put 35 minus y equal to 0, y equal to 35. And then we have to put 25 minus y equal to 0, y equal to 25. So we have got here three points. If we arranged this point on number line, okay, 0, 25, 35. Now we have to check to find out point of local maximum, local minima. So we have to draw three columns. In first one we can write value. Second sign of f dash x. Where f dash x equal to 7 y to the power 4. 35 minus y and 25 minus y. And third column we have to write result. So first value is 0. So putting y slightly less than 0. So less than 0 means minus 0.5. So when you put minus 0.5 here, sign is positive. When you put minus 0.5, so it will be positive. 
when we put minus 0.5 here so it is also positive so overall positive now student slightly greater than 0 plus 0.5 so when we put plus 0.5 it is also positive when we put plus 0.5 here it is also positive when we put plus 0.5 here it is also positive so overall result is positive so you can see sign does not change here both sign are same okay correct it means y equal to 0 is the point of inflection because sign not change here now second value we are going to take 25 so putting y slightly less than 25 less than 25 means 24 so putting y goes to 24 so it is positive student it is also positive when we put y equal to 24 when we put y equal to 24 it is also positive overall result is positive now students let us put slightly greater than 25 means 26 so when we put y goes to 26 here it is positive y equal to 26 here it is positive when y equal to 26 here it is negative student so overall result is negative plus 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 and plus minus minus so sign changes from positive to negative here so therefore y equal to 25 is the point of local maxima ok student now next point 35 so let's put first y slightly less than 35 so when you put less than 35 means 34.5 then it is positive it is negative it is also negative correct students 34.5 we are putting it is positive it is negative so overall result is negative plus 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 minus minus now put value of y more than 35 means 35.5 so when you put 35.5 here it is positive and when you put 35.5 here it is negative or when you put 35.5 here it is also negative so overall result is positive minus minus plus and plus 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 so sign changes from negative to positive student here so it means y equal to 35 is the point of local minima correct so we have got here both point local minima and local maxima but student in the question it is written product is maximum so we have to find out the point at which this product is maximum means point of local minima maxima so y equal to 25 is the point of local maxima it means first value is 25 y equal to 25 so let us putting this value in equation number 1 to get the value of x so when you put y equal to 25 here then x equal to 10 x equal to 35 minus 25 equal to 10 so two parts of 35 two numbers x and y so first number is 10 second number 25 ok students